Hey, welcome back to Project Sunny. In this episode, we're gonna make new floor support panels for the cargo area. On these old Range Rovers, the main cargo floor is essentially a big rectangular tray that's spot welded onto a lip that runs the whole perimeter of the opening. That lip is all but rusted away from years of water that came in through the tailgate. And even where it wasn't totally rotten, we made a pretty good mess of the metal drilling out the old spot welds. To fix this, we're gonna make patch panels to replace the rusty support flanges. These are essentially straight panels with a pair of opposing 90 degree bends. The challenge with these particular pieces is that the floor only drops down about half of an inch, and that's a fairly tight jog for a bench top break like the Eastwood Versa bend that we're using. We're using 20 gauge mild steel here, which we'll cut into three and a half inch strips. This will give us approximately an inch and a half of material for both sides of the flange, plus the half inch of depth. We'll be making patch panels to run the full depth of the rear floor, which is a little over 53 inches. Now the Versa bend has an opening of about 20 inches wide, so we'll have to make three pieces per side and weld them together to make a single run. Here I've taken my trimmed up blanks and marked the bending line using a wide marker and my old dial calipers. This is where I'll make the first bend on the brake. I've also made reference marks for my own use. This will help me orient the part correctly for later steps in the process. We're using the optional forming bar in place of the standard top plate to add some extra clamping force in the middle of this bend. After all six panels have gotten their first bend, we remove the fence extension from the front. This is where those reference marks come in handy. We now have exactly a half inch between the end of the bending surface and the bending point, allowing us to make the shallow second bend. Once we made the second bend on all six pieces, we used a body hammer to dress the slight bow in the center of each bend, bringing them into equal 90 degree offsets. From here, we need to butt weld our Z panels together to form two long pieces. Once these are made, we'll trim out the rot on the original bodywork and patch in our new parts. Check in with us next time when we bust out the welder and start stitching metal together. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to Eastwood's YouTube channel and give us a like. For more information on the tools used on this project, visit eastwood.com today.